Hi everyone, today we are talking about parts of algebraic expressions. As a reminder, you do not need to write down everything that we'll cover in this video, but be sure to jot down important information and at least one example of each type of problem that we'll cover. Also remember that you can pause the video to jot down important notes, rewind to view information again, and fast forward if you think you got it. Just be careful, be sure that you don't miss out on anything important by fast forwarding too much. Let's get started with an example here. I would pause the video and actually take out some colors when you are jotting this down into your notebook because we're talking about what different parts of an algebraic expression are called. So colors would really help you. So go ahead and pause the video. All right, so here we have an algebraic expression, this right here. 7n plus 2 is an algebraic expression. Um, term is a part of the expression, and that's the ones that are in the dotted lines being circled. That's a part of the expression that's separated by addition or subtraction. In this algebraic expression, it's the two terms are being separated by an addition operation. So the two terms are 7n and 2, the two terms in this entire algebraic expression. A variable is an unknown value represented by a letter. So in this example of an algebraic expression, the variable is n. The constant is a term that never changes its value. So that would be 2 in this example. This plus 2 is just 1, 2, 2. The n, we don't know what that value is. So for now, we're putting a letter there to represent it but it's kind of like a mystery what its value is. While two, we know exactly what its value is, two. The coefficient, which is seven in this example, um, is a number that's being multiplied by a variable. So seven n is the same as seven times n. So the seven is the coefficient. It's being multiplied by a variable. Again, if you haven't written this down in your notes, be sure to do so. And lastly, we have operation. So operation um, is just addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. And in this example, the operation is addition. And speaking of operation, there are certain special words that tell us to perform operations. So we have sum, and that is the result of addition. So examples would be 5 plus 7 and 27, or sorry, 2x plus 5. Those are both sums. So this is the sum of 5 and 7, and this is the sum of 2x and 5. Difference tells us that it's the result of subtraction. So this is the difference between 78 and 4, and this is the difference between 16 and a. Product is a special word to represent the result of multiplication. This is the product of 5 and 18. And this is actually the product of x and the sum of 8 and 2x. So the multiplication is actually between the x and the parentheses. So this is like your distributive property that we've talked about before. And 9a, as we saw in our example, this is 9 multiplied by a. So this is a product between 9 and a. Factor is the individual parts that make up the product. So the parts that are multiplied together. So for 5 times 18, that product, the factors are 5 and 18. They're the parts that make up that multiplication. For x times 8 plus 2x, the two factors are 8 and 8 plus 2x. So 8 plus 2x, since they're in a parentheses together, that's one factor. That whole thing is being multiplied by x. And of course, with 9 times a or 9a, 9 and a are the two different factors that are being multiplied together. So they're the parts that are multiplied together. And lastly, we have quotient, which tells us the result of division. So 15 divided by 3x 
could also be the quotient of 15 and 3x. So we have the division symbol. The fraction bar could also represent quotient. So here it's 3x plus 7, that whole entire thing, the whole entire expression being divided by y. So the division bar also tells you quotient. Make sure you have all this written down in your notes before we move on to talk about some examples. All right, so let's take a look at this example. They want you to use the expression 5 6 plus 8b to find an example of each kind of expression. So we want to identify the quotient, the product, and the sum. Go ahead and pause the video and try this on your own first. All right, so quotient, we remember, is division, product is multiplication, and sum is addition. So let's start with sum. It needs to have addition there. Well, this one has multiplication. This one has a fraction bar, so it's division. So it's got to be 5, 6 plus 8b. That one has addition between it. So later on, I'm going to move this down here product has multiplication, that would be 8b, because 8b is 8 as the coefficient being multiplied by b, the variable. So that's the product between those two factors. And then quotient would be that last one, which is 5, 6, because it's the same as 5 being divided by 6. The fraction bar tells you it's the same as division. So let me go ahead and fix this. So again, sum has the addition, product, the multiplication, and quotient, the division. All right. Let's try this one now. What is the coefficient in the expression 5 plus 9y? Go ahead and try this on your own. All right, so coefficient, if you remember correctly, is the number that's being multiplied by the variable. The variable is the letter, so this one right here is the variable. So that means that 9 has to be the coefficient. The 5 actually is the constant because it's constantly going to stay the same value, 5. It's never going to change. So your answer should be 9. So you really have to remember the names of these parts. Let's try one last one. All right, complete the statement to describe the expression a times b times c, or abc, plus def. The expression contains blank terms, so how many terms, and each term contains blank factors, so how many factors in each term. Pause the video and try it on your own first. All right, if you remember, terms are being separated by operations. So this is one term here, and this is another term. In this example, there are two terms. The first term is ABC, the second term is DEF. Now we have to look at each term, ABC and DEF, and see how many factors there are. Factors are um, what make up the multiplication. Each of these have multiplication. So how many factors, how many parts are actually being multiplied? Well, A is being multiplied by B and then C. And here D is being multiplied by E and then F. So each of them has one, two, three factors. One, two, three factors. Three parts that are being multiplied together to make each term. Okay, so this lesson is a lot about vocabulary and knowing um, what each part of the algebraic expression is called and what they do. Let me know if you have questions as you work on these and I'll be seeing you in class.